Hi friends, Matt Noyce, Insights video, the deeper dive into meteorology. You would think it should be fairly quiet. We're heading into a nice weekend, right? There is a ton going on in the weather. I'm going to take care of just about everybody here. We're going to do PMC and the 14-day forecast. I've got a 14-day dew point forecast. I'm going to talk about a storm developing offshore and what the chances are that it does or doesn't become tropical. And we've heard from a number of you saying, look, is there a way you could include 24-hour rainfall totals just for gardening and all that? Absolutely. I'm glad you asked. And when you ask, that's when we can easily put something like that in. So here's the last 24 hours. You can see we didn't pick up a lot where we got scattered showers and storms. We'd get a tenth of an inch with the exception of Rochester, New Hampshire, which picked up a little bit more. But most of us, it really didn't make a difference with the showers and storms that hit yesterday. And now the dry air is coming in again. So you're not going to get any new rain anytime soon. You got high pressure building in for what looks like a great weekend. Now, it's so funny. This is at the surface. There is more than meets the eye going on in the atmosphere. And it's very important with regard to potential storm development on Monday. Switch over to the water vapor imagery. Water vapor, a great tracer in the atmosphere. Atmosphere. The yellows represent the dry air, the whites, the greens, the moisture. It's so dry right now over us, it's almost hard to pick out a really important disturbance in here. We had one that kind of dipped down already, but there's a follow-up energy lobe in the atmosphere coming down across the eastern Great Lakes. That's one player. You see, what it's doing, if I show you the map of atmospheric energy and what's going on about 18 or 20,000 feet above our heads, Here's some of that energy that's dipping down and dropping into what we call a trough, a dip in the jet stream that can accumulate energy. And eventually, if you accumulate enough, you can lead to a storm. But there's another really important player in this setup for potential storm development centered around Monday. It's called a dynamically unstable ridge. What is that? Well, basically, it's a big dome of high pressure through a deep layer of the atmosphere. But it's set up from southwest to northeast. So what you do in a situation like this is you pump warmth around the north side and into the back of that trough. That serves to actually sharpen or deepen that trough or dip in the uh, jet stream. And what that means is you're actually favoring more in the way of storm development. So watch what happens. The accumulation of energy in yellow and red that comes together just off of our coastline as we get to Sunday night and Monday, this results in storm development. Now, this time of year, the very first thing you have to think about as a meteorologist is could this become tropical? I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's not really likely for a number of reasons. And the reason that you see right now, anyway, from the National Hurricane Center, no chance of tropical development in the next seven days, and they just leave it at that, is because admittedly, over the area where the storm will be developing, it is quite unfavorable in terms of tropical development conditions. So the ocean temperature is approaching its warmest time of the year, but not there yet. All right, the other part of this is there's some wind shear loft. So all of that doesn't really contribute to full-on tropical development. Not impossible. Possible, but not extremely likely. Nonetheless, it'll still represent a storm circulation that may still develop a wind core around it as well. So you've got high pressure that builds in for the start of the weekend. Saturday's awesome. Sunday really is pretty good too. You find some increasing clouds in southeastern parts of New England, but there's the storm. Notice by Monday morning, pushing showers in on top of us and during the day Monday, an onshore wind. It keeps temperatures in the 70s. There'll be moisture that'll be around for us. There'll be showers that continue to pop. Now here's the thing. Even if it comes together and organizes, I'm still not sure that it gives us anything more than half an inch of rain, and many of us may not even get that. It doesn't look like it's chock full of deep tropical moisture. Rather, it's a storm that's developing over the Atlantic and bringing in some amount of Atlantic moisture, right? There may be a core, as I mentioned, of wind around it. We'll see how well developed that can get, what the gusts would be out of that on Monday. But right now, it doesn't look again like it turns to a high-end type system or anything like that. It's just a talker, and it's really interesting in terms of the amount of energy that comes together into that. It does bring back the humidity so that once we get to Tuesday, you're still into the humidity. You're still into some showers that pop up as well. Enjoy your Saturday. It's beautiful all the way from the mountains and the Canadian border to the seacoast. We're doing great with temperatures running in the 80s. Overnight, Saturday night, another comfortable night for us, which is great. Sunday, you get the sunshine that goes to some clouds in southeast New England as that storm starts to take shape. Notice the temperature, though, back into the 80s, some of us pushing 90, still doing it without much in the way of humidity. So that certainly is good. Notice the dew point by Monday starts going back up. And actually, that's the beginning of a trend because once that ocean storm pumps in a little bit more in the way of humidity, we'll notice that sticking around a little bit longer. You see that here in the 14-day dew point forecast, climbing as we get into Monday, staying up on Tuesday, uh, midweek, and then starting to drop again as we get towards the end of the week. Really, right now, it does look like next weekend might have some pretty comfortable air with it. And you say, oh, good. Well, that works out well for the Pan Mass Challenge. Yeah, the dew point will be down. 
I'm not sure the temperature is going to be down here. Take a look at the 14-day forecast as we go out uh, through the PMC. For those of you who are doing the bike ride, we're still thinking like 90s. Now, this is a New England average. Admittedly, the Cape may be a little bit cooler. We do have a chance of showers and storms even as we get into next weekend, even though that drier air comes in. That's mostly Saturday in case the cold front, uh, the quote cold front, doesn't clear us Friday. Again, it doesn't really bring colder air. It just may bring less humid air, and that may lead you into what would be at least heat without quite as much humidity the deeper into the weekend that you go. But we have to figure out the timing on that frontal boundary. Anyway, bottom line is we continue with summer. It's just the fact that we cool down Monday doesn't really mean much in terms of what's coming up in a longer pattern. If you want to get your own 14-day for your spot, if you're riding the PMC, you want to set the locations for different points along the way and see how it changes over the coming days, certainly can do that off the App Store or Google Play. I hope you enjoyed this deeper dive and I hope it gave you a little insight into what we're watching on the meteorological side here over the course of the next couple of days. Have a great rest of your day.